the many effects of riba income and wealth distribution gap and the creation of poverty in video 1 we highlighted the main sources of riba in the present monetary system namely fiat money fractional reserve banking and compound interest these three bring about some effects firstly money and debt in the economy to grow exponentially beyond the real economy accordingly that creates inflation that was covered in video one then it creates asset price bubbles and a widening gap in income and wealth distribution this video explains why those three characteristics bring about a widening gap in income and wealth distribution we can explain that using the equation of exchange the equation of exchange says mv equals to py m is the quantity of money supply in the economy generally we take m1 and m2 v is the velocity of money circulation p is the general price level and y is the real economic output of goods and services generally measured by gdp at constant price so basically this is the monetary side and this is the real side price times quantity is generally what we pay for however in the macroeconomics we have a velocity the velocity is simply how many times money exchanges hands on average this is here velocity is here in the macroeconomic equation because the same money can be used again and again hence this equation mv equals to py the three characteristics that we explained earlier causes money and debt to grow exponentially which means this one keeps on growing exponentially beyond the y which was the green curve here the real economy so therefore, if we take velocity of money, which is generally taken at a constant, there's bound to be price increase or inflation in the system. The newly created money is mostly given to the wealthier people in the economy, for they alone look more credit worthy in the eyes of the bankers. But the inflation created here is borne by everyone, the rich, the poor and so on therefore the real income of certain people in the economy will keep on decreasing and some will fall into poverty money does not grow equally in everybody's pocket but inflation affects everyone and some people's real income would fall and together they create inequality in the economy pushing some to fall into poverty overall money circulates among the rich in the society in summary increasing inequality in wealth and income distribution and the creation of poverty are simply by the structure of the modern monetary system Thank you.